All right, guys, Jess here at Earl Jalen Farms. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about the Tough uh, brand feed buggy and do a little bit of comparison between it and the work wheeled handy hopper. So let's dive in. All right, y'all, of course the wind would start blowing when I start doing some recording, but hopefully that won't be too much, in the, too much of an issue. Uh, first thing, I want to start the front and say that the Tough brand uh, does come with a Bulldog style hitch, which I prefer. The work well did not. It was just kind of a cheaper style. I don't even know. Just that cheaper style that you see on uh, on less expensive equipment. I do prefer the Bulldog style hitch. The overall frame and the way this is put together, uh, I like it. I prefer it over the work weld. The work weld just kind of made a box, a square, come out. And actually, I would notice it had a lot of wobble, uh, side to side wobble, especially hitting bumps and things going down the road. The jack on this one is definitely better. It seems to be more heavy duty. The bend style is different on this. This is quite a bit taller. The work weld has a more slope coming down to the back, as I'm sure you've seen in the pics. The work weld also did not include any type of steps to be able to get up and look down into it. Uh, and actually, there was a sticker on this bumper here that said that it's not a step and do not stand on it. The Tough brand does give you some steps here. And... I'm not a particularly tall person, but they are tall enough for me to be able to, when I'm when they're filling this at the feed store, or if I just want to get up there and see how much is left, uh, I have, uh, there's plenty of height on those steps for me to be able to look over in there. And I'll show you here in a minute, there is something in there that will need your attention every now and then. Of course, going to the back, I just, I mean, all these gates are gonna be similar they both work well on both both designs uh, i think both had led lights both had the uh, viewing window the work weld handle actually had a lock style in it so they wouldn't fly open this one doesn't but i've not had an issue with it going open down the road or anything or wind blowing anything like that we were in a quite a bit of a snowstorm uh, when I did have the work weld, I will say it, there was some snow that blew in between, I guess, the lid and the edge here. And there was a little bit of snow laying on top of the uh, the feed in there. And it was a real light snow. We don't typically get that type of snow, but just uh, something to think about. I've not no noticed any type of moisture or snow getting in this one. So I'll go ahead and open this up. Show you in here. So if you have a tough brand, or you're looking at them one thing that you will have to keep in mind is that there is a grease circ in here you can see it right there and if you don't hit that with grease ever so often this uh it will be hard to open your lid because there is a, a linkage that runs through this tube from the front to the back and that will get the way this is designed there can be a little water get in there and rust and you can see a little bit of my grease oil run down right here where i greased it so definitely keep that greased so one thing i really prefer over this one versus the work weld is this tough brand has a torsion style axle with the work weld when it's full going down the road i say full uh, i'll get to that in a second you feel every little bump and it jerks you around it seems like even in my one ton uh pickup a dually pickup truck you feel every little bump this is a lot smoother going down the road uh, i don't know if you've ever been to oklahoma but we don't have the best roads so every little every little bit of suspension helps around here so i much prefer this especially when it's loaded going down the road uh, back to fill capacity the work weld is a two ton, or the, the one that I have is a two ton. This one is a two and a half ton. And I can get for sure two tons in this unit. I haven't tried to put two and a half yet, but on the work weld, even though it's advertised as a two ton, I wasn't able to put a full two tons of feed in it. And that may depend on the type of feed you're putting in it. Uh, I was putting a commodity feed from the local, uh, local feed store. Like I said, I, I could get, I think, 
I think all I was able to get into it in it was uh, maybe like a ton and a half, I wanna say. It was pretty shy of being a full two tons. I was, I was disappointed in that fact. I'm gonna go get this filled tomorrow and uh, I'll, I'll try to take some shots of it, uh, getting filled uh, maybe on the inside. I'm probably gonna get a full two tons and you can uh, see how much capacity is left over after I get that full two tons in there. I just want to show you real quick. I got her filled up. Just gonna open it up and climb inside. Cause I did get a exactly a full two tons. And you can see I've still got some left in here, so I could probably get. I probably could have got another 500, uh, five hundred, five to seven fifty in here. I don't know, maybe another thousand. I don't know. That'd be a tight fit. You get a whole nother half a ton in here but yeah so that's uh that's two tons and uh still got room to go so that's what i like to see also the tire size on the tough brand is bigger i don't remember the exact tire size on the work weld i just do know that this one is bigger now that doesn't seem like it would be a big deal but pulling this thing down the highway and like i said with the bumps and it's this torsion axle these bigger tires are actually going to help uh, smooth it out a little bit also. I would definitely look at this Tough brand. Uh, the only two I've had is this Tough brand and the Work Weld Handy Hopper two-tone model. And not that because this one's just made in Oklahoma, which I do like. This is a whole lot better unit, hands down. There's, there's no doubt about it. And really, I got this one used, so I actually paid less for it than I did new for the Work Weld. But comparing new prices to new prices, at the time that I got this, this one might have been four, uh, 500 bucks more. And that sounds like a lot, but in my opinion, it's worth it for the little extra features that you get and the better build quality. Well, all right, guys, I hope that helped you out. Hopefully it gave you some things to consider if you're looking at the Tough brand or the Work Weld. And if this video helped you out at all, hit that big thumbs up button. Check out some of our other videos. We'll see you on the next one.